Welcome to a video from TheDigitalLife.com In this video we're going to have a look at the uh, Update 3 for Windows RT This is nothing too revolutionary This is just a minor change to uh, to Windows RT um, Windows RT is the app only version of Windows that has been abandoned by Microsoft now as they're not bringing a Windows 10 version of it So this is a Surface 2 but I thought it would be interesting just to see what they've done with the, the new start menu So. So this is the old start menu and I've applied the update now the things have changed in this one they say that using circles in some user name parts for represented people like there and on the lock screen like that so that's that's the change to the to the lock screen but that isn't the main change the main change is a new start menu so here we are with the old style start menu and to get the new start menu we need to go on to properties here start and you'll see this is a new option here so we can do use the start menu instead of start screen okay that and we do have to sign out and back in again so let's do that so we've come back to the desktop now and there is the new start menu so if you've seen early builds of Windows 10 some from last year you will see in this style of start menu and one of the reasons they've done this is because the current Windows 10 uses Windows 10 APIs to do the start menu and uh, that isn't supported with Windows RT so they're using Windows 8.1 APIs and that's why we get this old style well, mix of style of, of uh, start screen so you can do the thing you've got an all apps list uh, no way of clicking it alphabetically there's just a, a big list and you can pin apps to there these are pinned I think already yep and let's pin that to the start so there we go we can pin that and I can pin let's go back and I can pin start so you can pin like you can on um, on Windows 10 but I was going to say what other things right we've got power button up here and we've got my user account up there so where the start menu really is a bit pointless is if you go to the mail app you go back to the full screen so if I go click on the start menu and then I load the store app you go back to full screen again so I don't really see what you're gaining by having the the start menu like this it's not like in Windows 10 where you've got window apps and you've got desktop apps and you'll notice in fact you can't actually get back to the desktop now the only way to get desktop is to use the desktop icon so again I could let's pin that to the start so I can go back to the desktop here, but if I learn uh, load the, let's have a look for Internet Explorer, see what we get. So there's the modern version of 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 IE, uh, and but you can't window it. So it's really strange sort of hybrid start menu. I I really don't see. The, the reason behind it because um, I can't imagine there's that many Surface 2 or Lumia 2520 or Surface RT owners really clamoring for this. I, the full size start screen uh, worked quite well on this device. You don't really have desktop on Surface RT apart from the office apps. Everything else has got to be a store app. So what's the point of it? Anyway, it's there. It's got to be one of them. I don't know how much time they spent on it. Hopefully not too much time. But there you go. There's the new start menu in Windows uh, RT. And uh, you'll see more exciting videos on our YouTube channel where we look at Windows 10 and lots of other new stuff.